Do you use KPI on your report and you need to know when it hits a certain value? Power BI can send users an alert email. Hello everyone, Shab is back with a new interesting tutorial. Do your end users need to get notification on their emails when their sales amount picked a value or decreased to a certain amount? Watch the video up to the end and I will teach you how you can set up an alert email step by step using Power Automate. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel to get the notification for the new upcoming videos. As always, you can read Power BI articles on my blog and you can send message to me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram. Stay tuned. Does your company manager want to see when the daily sales is above or below a certain value? Don't worry. You can set an alert and she will get notified when this condition is satisfied. Consider we have some data like this Google Sheet. I use Google Sheet just for demonstration because I can update the values and show it to you. But this approach works for any data coming from different sources. As you can see in this sheet, we have the sales information for two product categories, computers and cell phones. I save this Google Sheet and then I will go back to my Power BI desktop. Let's import this sheet to the Power BI. So from Get Data, I press on More and in the new window, I search for Google. And there you can see the Google Sheets. Choose it and then copy the Google Sheet URL. I just go to Edit Mode and you can see the new table is here. I'll change its name to Sales and then from Home tab and Transform section choose Use First Row as Header. And that's it. It seems every other things are fine for now. So close and apply. Now what I'm going to do is creating two measures to calculate the total sales amount for each product category. In this step, I create a card visual and drag computer cells into it, and then format the visual. Then I copy this visual and replace its current measure with cell phone sales measure and change the title. Cool! Now we have a report which shows us the total sales for these two categories. But for sending alert to our users, we cannot use Power BI Desktop. We have to first save this file and then publish it to our workspace. Once it published, I opened the Power BI service. And here you can see our report. I open it and it's exactly what we created on Power BI Desktop. To set alert, first we need to pin the visuals we like to a dashboard. First, I should pin computer sales visual. To do that, hit on the pin icon here when you hover your mouse on the visual. In the new window, choose new dashboard. Then I will choose a name for the dashboard and then press the pin button. Now I want to pin the other visual too. Press on pin icon and now we can choose the existing dashboard. And from the list, choose sales dashboard and then press on pin. To go to the dashboard, you can go to the workspace and you can see the dashboard there. I click on the sales dashboard. You can see our two cards pinned here. To set alert, I'll press on the three dots on top right side of the computer sales card and choose manage alerts. Then on this panel, choose add alert rule and choose a name for it. I let it remain as it is and in the condition I choose above and I want to see when our computer sales pass $19,000 then we receive an email. 
You can choose either 24 hours or 1 hour notification frequency. And save and close. I'll do the same for cell phone sales, when the sales amount decreased to $8,000. But there is a big issue in this setting. I hope you found it up to now. If you use this approach, it will send an alert to your email. But you need to send alert to your users. So here is where we should use Power Automate. If you can see the link here and press it, it directs you to Power Automate portal. I've already created an account, but if you don't have any account, you can create one for free. And then you can see this page here. Here I'm going to create a flow to receive an alert in our user's emails when our sales reach a certain value. On the left menu, click on Create and then choose Automated Cloud Flow. I'm choosing a name for it and search for Alert. And here you can see when a data-driven alert is triggered option in Power BI. Choose it and press on Create. Wait for some seconds. If you have saved the alert in Power BI, then in the Alert ID drop-down menu, you can see the options. I choose Computer Sales and then press on New Step. And in this step, I search for Send Email. And choose this one, Send an Email Notification. If you see a pop-up window at this stage, accept it. Then you will be directed to this window. And here you can choose your user's email, subject, and body. I will fill these fields for myself to test. And hit save at the end. Next, I do exactly the same thing for cell phone sales to get alert when it's less than $8,000. Now I open the Google Sheet and remove these last rows for cell phones to see if the total sales decrease to below $8,000. Don't forget to press on Save button and then I will go back to the Power BI service. The first thing I should check is going to the dataset setting and check the data source credential. Choose the privacy level as none and press on Sign in using your Google account, which we used for the Google Sheet. Sometimes some of the browsers gives you error. I recommend you to use Chrome for this aim. I go back to my workspace and refresh my dataset. Before doing anything else, let's check if the refresh completed successfully or failed. Yes, you can see here it's completed in just three seconds. Now, if I open the report, you can see the cell phone sales decreased to below our alert amount, which was $8,000. So, we should receive an email. Let's check my email. And boom! You can see I received an email here, and if I open it, it shows me the alert message we created earlier. I can do exactly the same for computer sales and add some values to our Google Sheet. Save the sheet, and then refresh the report and just check if the refresh completed successfully. Just check the report to see the values. And here you can see the values reached our 19k cap. So, I should receive an alert email. Let's check my email. Yes, and here it is. I received the alert email. Hope you enjoyed this interesting video on how you can send an alert email to your end users using Power Automate. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel to get the notification for the new upcoming videos. You can follow me on LinkedIn, Twitter and Instagram and read Power BI articles on my blog. Have a good day all Power BI lovers.